friends, welcome back to this week's Children's Ministry Online. We have a great lesson planned for you all today. We're going to start out with some worship and then we'll get into the story of the Good Shepherd. And then we'll get to do a craft about that. Well, let's get into it and we'll see you on the other side. My soul finds rest in God alone. My soul. Finds rest in God alone. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will never be shaken. He alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will never be shaken never be shaken my soul finds rest in god alone my soul finds rest in god alone my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will never be shaken he alone is my rock and my salvation Fortress, I will never be shaken, never be shaken. No, 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 never be shaken. No, 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 no. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. He alone is my rock and my salvation. Never be shaken, never be shaken Never be shaken Turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock, gave me a fine place to stand. He set my feet on a rock, gave me a fine place to stand. Set my feet on a rock, yeah, and here I am. I waited. For the Lord, He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He set my feet on the rock, gave me a firm place to stand. Set my feet on the rock. Yeah, 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 
to me and heard my cry He lifted me out of the slimy pit Out of the mud and mire He set my feet on a rock He gave me a firm place to stand He set my feet on a rock Gave me a firm place to stand Set my feet on a rock yeah. And here I am to start our story and the story for this week is called the good shepherd which is about david the shepherd king it's from psalm 51 second samuel 7 and a paraphrase of psalm 23 david was a shepherd but when god looked at him he saw a king sure enough when david grew up that's just what he became and david was a great king he had a heart like god's heart full of love now, that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did do some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life, but God can take even the biggest mess and make it to work in his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts, if they'd been invented then. David's songs are like prayers. They're called psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the psalm charts. And it goes like this. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe and he rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness. I can't hold it all inside. Isn't that awesome? Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever, love will go too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he really loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, which is close to God's heart. Well, it's so cool to know how even if we do mess up, which we sometimes do, that God is always going to be there for us. He's going to forgive us and call us according to his plan. Hey kids, now we are going to start our craft for today. And our craft today is going to be a little lamb and it's going to be super cute. So to start out with these supplies that we're going to need, we'll start out with the crayons, markers, paint, whatever you want to use. We're not going to use a lot of color today. We're only really going to be using the gray and the black, but if you want, you can use another color. Um, just when we get to that area. And then you'll need uh, one or two pieces of paper depending on how big you want to make your lamb. 
You'll need some cotton balls. If you don't have cotton balls, you can just use a tissue or a paper towel or napkin. You can just cut it up into little pieces and you can glue those onto the lamb once we get there. We'll need some tape or glue. You can probably get away with either one. And then this part is optional, but I think it would be super cool if you could hang your lamb afterwards. So if you have a string um, or if you have uh, some yarn or I have this from just a bag of bread that I got, this is the little twisty thing that goes on it. So I was just going to use this. Um, but you can use whatever you want or you don't have to do that part of the craft. So while you all get your supplies, I'm gonna start organizing. All right, now that you have your supplies, let's get started on making our little lamb. So to start, we'll get our piece of paper and then we'll get a crayon marker, whatever, you can use a pen or a pencil. And this, we're just gonna be drawing the outline of the lamb's body. So right now we're just gonna make the body part of it and then we'll make a separate head and feet that go along with it. We're gonna be cutting all of these out and gluing them together. So I'll draw them if you guys wanna follow along. All right, so I just drew the body, the head, and the feet of the lamb. I drew two different bodies because this one looked a little bit small to me and I wanted to make sure that I got the right size. So I'm gonna cut out both of them and then we'll see which one looks better. You guys can do that as well just to make sure that you get the right fit. So now we're going to cut out our feet, face, and body of the lamb. All right, after you have finished cutting out your pieces, what I did is on the back side, you can see all the lines that I had and I didn't think that that looked very nice. So I just flipped it over and now you can't see any of those marks and it looks white as a sheet. So now it's time to color. So we're gonna color the face and the little feet the color gray. You could also just use a piece of gray construction paper um, or uh, just color it with your marker or your crayon. So I'm gonna put a little piece of paper underneath it to make sure that I don't color onto the table and I'll color the face and the feet. All right, after you finished coloring the head and the paws gray, now we are going to assemble our sheep. So we're gonna put the head just right above the, so this little rump that I cut out was just the back, so that's the little tail of the sheep. If you didn't do that, we'll just take a cotton ball and we'll 
poof it right on the end to make it look like one, so don't worry about that. But choose a side that you want the head to go on, and I'll have my head go right here. And we're gonna have the head stick out, so we'll get some of our glue, or tape, whichever you wanna use. We'll glue the back side of it. piece of paper underneath. Perfect, all right. We'll let that dry. And then we'll do our feet. And our feet, we're gonna stick underneath the body of it. like that. And then we'll go ahead and tape those. Okay, now we have our little feet, the lamb head, and the body. So now we can get our black marker and just make a little face. And you'll want to put the two eyes kind of lower on his head because then we're going to take one of our cotton balls Kind of push it out a little bit, and we're gonna put that right above his little noggin. So we'll just glue right on top. And then we'll put the cotton ball right on there. So it will look like that. So now we're gonna take the rest of our cotton balls and you don't need a whole bag. We're just gonna use as many as your parents will allow you to take. We probably won't need a whole lot. You can actually unravel them and split them up. Just like that. So I'm gonna do that to three of our cotton balls. All right, once you have discombobulated your cotton balls, I know, big word, uh, just means pulled apart. We will take it and then we'll start gluing it on the edges of the sheep because we're gonna write something on the inside. So if you want to start putting glue all around the edges, just like this, and we can stick them on there. All right, now we'll start taking our cotton balls and just sticking them on there all around. Now, once we have the body of the sheep and we have glued all of the little cotton around it, we're going to write, God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb right in the stomach of the sheep. 
So I'm just gonna use a black marker, but you can use whatever color you want, marker, pen, crayon, pencil, and we'll write. All right, after we have written that, this is the part where you can either do this or not do this. So you can get some rope or string, or I am going to use this little tie part. Um, I just found this off of the bag of my bread, but you can also just grab um, any flexible string that you want or anything. So I'm going to flip over my sheep and then I'm gonna twist it like that so that it makes a loop so I can hang it somewhere. I'll get my tape and then we'll just tape it right on there. Perfect, and then once it's taped, you can hang this wherever you want. You can hang it in your room, on your door, in your window. Um, but it's just an awesome reminder that God is your shepherd and you are his little lamb. Thanks for joining me for our craft today. Thanks for watching this week's Children's Ministry Online. We look forward to seeing you all next week and I hope that you all have a great rest of your week. Bye.